Okay, so we're out here on uh, Cedar Creek Reservoir in Seven Points, Texas, and we're going to do some uh, drift fishing. As you can see, the waves, are, they're not too bad uh, for this pontoon boat. So what is drift fishing? Drift fishing is simply throwing out your line, letting it drag the bottom, and then letting the boat drift along. All right, Regina's poles that she prefers are these uh, Zepcos with a single hook set up. We have a uh, we have a slip weight right here, swivel, and then a single hook. Okay, here's my setup. I'm using a open face reel with two hooks on it. I have a bottom hook with a swivel, and then I have a half ounce weight, slip weight right here, slips up and down the line. And then I come back up here and I have a, another spot up here with a second hook on it. So I'm fishing two hooks with a weight in between them. Our bait of choice is chicken breast. I, I take a chicken breast, skinless chicken breast, I'm just gonna cut it across it and then leave it the thickness that it is. And that's what we're using for bait. When it comes to drift fishing, you do not need a whole lot of equipment. I'm using these hooks right here from Bass Pro Shop. They are snailed hooks. And as you can see, they're two off. I'm using a half ounce slip weight. Uh, sometimes I use a three eighths, it really doesn't matter. It's just whatever they have in stock. And then we're using some type of a swivel hook here. So it doesn't take a whole lot of equipment when you're drift fishing, but one thing you have to keep in mind is that, hang on, I'm getting a bite. Okay, I've got a bite. You can see my pole is bent. I'm holding the camera and trying to reel in a fish, so I'm gonna pass the camera. We're going to bring this one in with the net. There we go. We've been out on the water for about five minutes. There's our first catch. We haven't had time to put the other fish up yet. And it looks like maybe Regina might be bringing in one right now. Yep. She's bringing one in right now. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Got another one. All right, we've been fishing about five minutes and uh, we brought two fish in already. And we've, uh, due to us messing with the camera here, we have uh, lost two fish. It's been November, so we're around 50 degrees. And we're out on the lake fishing and catching fish. Okay, because we're on the barge, we have plenty of room, so I'm gonna kind of scoot back here and show you our setup. We have four poles right here. Gina is using three at the moment, but we're fixing to put a fourth one out over there. And the main thing is, is that you keep your poles, the lines out at different lengths. You can tell by the angle, I don't know if you can tell on the water right now, but the angle of the line will show you how far your lines are out. You want to keep them out at different lengths. I always use stringers instead of baskets when I'm fishing with cat, for catfish, mainly because they're fins. It's hard to get them out of the basket. All right, Regina's got a fish and as you can see, might be able to tell she's actually crossed over her other fishing line, but that's no problem. It's easy to undo. So now you just keep your poles out in the water, let the boat drift as it's going to drift, and wait for the fish to come in. Okay, one of the other things that you need is wind, and we definitely have the wind today. 
but we are on a pontoon boat and it handles the wind uh, quite well. You get up to about uh, five to 10 miles per hour wind on this pontoon boat and you're, uh, you're actually uh, sitting pretty safely. All right, I've been fishing for about 15 minutes. I ended up uh, catching a couple of fish that tangle up my line, so I had all my poles out of the water for about uh, 10 minutes. And then we've had to move because the wind has moved us so much, so uh, total fish time is about 15 minutes. Regina and I both have uh, lost the fish due to messing with either another fish or this camera. But as you can see, the waves have calmed down a little. We should uh, do a little better this time around. We're just about the same spot we were the first time. We're about to get all of our poles back in the water again and see how we do this time around. When you're drift fishing, it's basically just setting the poles out, letting it drift across the lake, and then watching the poles for any activity. One thing that you do have to pay attention to though is you're subject to uh, catch on debris under the water and it can yank a pole out of the water really fast. Or in the case like the last time we went fishing, we were dealing with a nice sized fish on deck and another fish hit at the other end of the boat, hit the pole twice and then took the pole with him. So you really got to pay attention when you're fishing with multiple poles. And one last thing about fishing with multiple poles is if you're going to fish with two poles, bring three. If you're going to fish with three, bring four. Always bring at least one extra pole because you never know when you're going to have something tangle up inside or you might end up having uh, the line uh, whiplash inside here. Just de just depends, especially when it's really windy, you, have that, you take that chance. And another thing when it's really windy, your lines tend to uh, cross more too when your boat is moving a lot more. But hey, isn't this what it's all about? When you get to bring friends and family over for a little fellowship, enjoy some good company, and eat some of this good fish. Well, it was for us, and we can't wait till the next one. I think it's time to go fishing. Sun's going down. We didn't get a whole lot of fishing in. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Got a pole that hung up. We didn't get a lot of fishing in, but we did catch enough to take some home. <laughs>